just going to make a quick video. Um, normally on Fridays, what I've been trying to do is do like a Q&A thing. I didn't really put it out there asking for questions this time. Well, I did one time, I think, at the beginning or something of last week. Um, never got any responses back. I know everybody's got their lives and everything, so... I figured today, since, hold on, let me get rid of this, it's trying, I'm at a rest area in Georgia, and my computer's trying to connect uh, all the local Wi-Fi's around here, and I was reading something Keith Barrett was talking about, oh no, I wasn't reading about it, well, I read a little about it on Twitter, but uh, on TTB this week, he was talking about how his website was compromised and everything, and and it got me thinking about my website, and uh, it, it, it all had to do with blogs, I believe, and uh, comment in the comment section, how people can comment on the blogs, and uh, it, it, it got me thinking, so I went, I, I've been getting a lot of requests, yet because I have it set up to where if someone wants to comment, and I haven't really been writing anything in the blog, so I don't know why people would want to comment. But there has been people a lot recently, really, um, leaving comments, and and they wait for my approval, and uh, it looks like a lot of it's spam. I, I I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's like uh, links and stuff like that, and they're trying to post it in my blog. So I'm probably not going to uh, be approving a lot unless I know you and are, are I'm familiar with you on Google Plus. I'm, I'm uh, just because I don't want it hacked and I don't want viruses put onto the website. I don't want it to start getting spam and and then you go to the <coughs> you go to glassgeek.com to look for something. Maybe you want a new skin or a Virginia painting or, or print or or something and uh, next thing you know you gotta something on your computer that's going to start sending you crap or so I totally bl I'm blocking out any comments and like I said unless I know know you guys I mean I'm not really computer savvy I mean I use a Chromebook um so I it, it's it's not only for my safety and the website safety it's for your guys' safety too uh, lately, there's been quite a few people going to the website, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. I've, the numbers have been pretty good. Uh, I don't know how that generates for views for the links that I have. Go, you know, um, like I, I, whoever's on there, you know, whoever I'm ever. I don't want to pick just one person out. I got, I got like seven or eight people on there now, including my own stuff. Uh, but I, you know, hopefully it, it, you know, I'm hoping that everybody's going to everybody's links. And if anybody has any ideas of anything else I can add, why am I talking with my hands? Um, if you guys have any ideas of, of what would look good on the site, uh, have any YouTube videos of anything cool that you've done with Google Glass or things that you have made for Google Glass or maybe something cool you've done this summer, uh, uh you put together a cool video with glass and with a camera and edit it together and showing your summer vacation or something like that, you know, I, I would love to put it up on the website. And uh, so just if, if any of you guys out there, just send me a URL to your YouTube channel and I'll link it up and put it right there, center, right there, you know, everyone can see it and then I'll, and I'll cycle through it. If I get more than a couple videos, I'll cycle through them, uh, check, you know, so everybody can see everybody's. Um, trying to think of quite. I, I walked up to go to the restroom just now, and on the way back, I was I was thinking, okay, if I was going to ask myself questions, what would I ask myself, uh, or someone like me? And uh, I, my mind just turned foggy. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I would ask myself. Um, okay, Rick. Oh, okay, let's pretend I got a, a, a question here. So, Rick asks from... Oh, he's from glassgeek.com. Okay, Rick asked, where do you see your future? 
going from here? I'm asking myself that. Uh, good question, Rick. Uh, I see you got a Patreon campaign going too. I might have to check that out. Uh, where do I see myself? Not driving truck for very much longer. 30 years is enough. Uh, technology's finally catch. You know what's cool about that is growing up, our, our, it, it's taken like, well, after high school, a little bit of college, the military, and then this job, it's taken a long time to figure out what I want to do with my life. You know, most people get out of school or leave their high school not really knowing what they want to do. Then uh, they kind of kick back for the summer and then uh, enroll maybe in a community college like I did. Because uh, I, I don't really come from a wealthy family. And uh, plus, I really didn't know what I wanted in college. You know, I was going for AJ. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of that stuff. I, I wanted to be a park ranger at first. I want kind of wanted to either be in Yosemite because I used to go to Yosemite a lot, and uh, or in the Everglades, and be a park ranger is what I wanted to do. And um, ended up having a family. Families cost money. Didn't know what to do then. I I, I, I got totally screwed. So joined the army. In the army, I, you know, I didn't know what what I really wanted, and still didn't have a goal in life. Uh, went to Iraq for two years, went to Nicaragua, and uh, but the whole time I was stationed in Georgia, so I, I never really got to go any, get stationed anywhere really cool, or take my family anywhere cool. Uh, once I started driving truck, that's when the traveling started. That's when. The kids were little, and we got to go out across the country, and they got to go to Mount Rushmore, Niagara Falls, and all the national parks. Um, and, and and this was a great career and a great job. It paid the bills, paid for my ex-wife to go to college. Um, it, it, it did really good, but it wasn't. I didn't see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Um, I do like it, and uh, if I am stuck doing this for the rest of my life. You know, there's worse jobs I could have, but uh, this, th I think this is this, no, no this, uh, all this, wearables, uh, computer, well, com I think computers are on the way out, uh, tr traditional computers anyway, I think uh, maybe Chromebooks in the cloud, I maybe that's where everything's going to go, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what the future holds, uh, wearables, I think, are going to be big for a while. Will they replace cell phones and, and all that other stuff? Probably not, but those have to evolve into something too. Uh, but I, I kind of want to guess and figure out and maybe forge my own path and uh, learn a little bit from a lot of explorers is where I'm actually learning stuff. Uh, just seeing what you guys do. But uh, I think that's the path I want to go. Uh, if I can't do something on my own, and uh, maybe I can make a living, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Um, if promoting, uh, taking different venues, I got some ideas for TV shows I would love to get going. I got two copyrighted, thanks to... Uh, Jen Vargas in Orlando area she uh, helped me out and hooked me up getting my stuff copyrighted I just need to figure out how to go from there um, I, I, I don't know where I see myself in the future and who asked this question anyway must be some idiot uh, where I see myself in the future is uh Financially, being comfortable, I don't need to be wealthy. I see myself being able to uh, enjoy life a little bit more. Assisting, I, I you know, with GlassGeek.com and what the community has helped me with so far, I would love to see that just kick off, you know. If I could get Patreons to back me and, and, and you, 
you know, and, and, and are just uh, businesses that I'm able to help, they don't need to pay me. I just, I just want to, if I can make them successful, then heck, I would be a success. And uh, then other people would say, wait a second, at Google Analytics, or I don't know, I still don't know how that works. I, I'm, like I said, I'm stupid at that. I think it shows the people that own the websites how much traffic is pushed their way from other websites or other links. I, that's what I'm assuming it does. So if, if that's the case, and Analytics is showing that I'm shoving a lot of business their way, maybe they'll go, hey, you know what? This dude's helped us out a little bit. Um, well, well, you know, here, here's three dollars a month. You know, four dollars a month on your Patreon campaign. I get enough people doing that, and I can help out enough people. I can make a living just from Patreon alone. Get out of this. Get at home more. Start a couple other websites. Get them going. Uh, bring in new people. Maybe hire a person or two to do a blog or maybe a, a professional vlog, nothing like this, uh, promoting things, I, maybe starting a new YouTube channel with nothing but videos of different accessories or different 3D printing or, or I, I don't know, but I, I think the future is going to be exciting. I, I don't know where I see myself. I know I got bills to pay, so I still have to find a way to monetize it somewhat so I could start being home more. You know, I was thinking about this when I was just driving here uh, to park. How many days off? You know, I've never ever in, well, I'm 50 years old. But, uh, so I started working when I was about 13. No, I was younger than that. I was about nine. Uh, I had a paper route. I know they don't have those anymore. But I had a bicycle and every morning about four in the morning I wake up I wrap papers uh, stick them in my bag on my bike and deliver until I got the apartment complexes those were the best because you didn't have to pedal all over the place you could just hit the apartment complex slap the bag over and then deliver the newspapers but how long ago was that um, it was a long time ago I've in never in my life I've never took a vacation I have vacations at this job. I, I get vacations, but normally I just take my vacation pay and then work through the vacation. And uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, last year, I think throughout the whole year, I've only had 12 days off. I get I got 12 days off. And this year is no different. I, uh, I had a slow week last week, so it's kind of like days off, but I was stuck in a Target distribution parking lot. So it wasn't like real days off, but I, I was able to do stuff on the computer and everything, but I was not able to go enjoy. Um, that's what I want in my future. I want to be able to have a day off now and then. I want to be able to uh, at least once a year go on a three or four day vacation somewhere. That's what I'm going to start doing. Okay. So, good question, Rick. Um, do we have any more questions out there? Actually, some people asked questions last week, and I just can't remember them. And, and, and I don't want to go back to the timeline. Uh, I posted a video today. Uh, I, I got... I got uh, I, I don't. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, something needs to be said. I kind of said something in that video when I was coming down from Kentucky into uh, no, I was coming from Illinois into Kentucky. Uh, something's been bugging me all day, and, and it's about the Glass family type, just the whole community, not just one thing in particular. But Google Plus is is kind of unique because you can, they got it set up, well everybody knows, you got your little circles and groups of people and, and, and you get all these little circles, but we're all part of one big circle, you know? And um, the Google Glass community 
is unique to all that. I mean, I know there's other communities, photography communities and clubs and whatever, and we're all a virtual, I mean, in the big circle of things, we're all part of Google+. Plus. Then we got all these little separate circles and communities and uh, groups. And then, uh, but the, the bottom line is I got, I got contacted by a glass explorer today who's, who's a, I'm, uh, in the community, they were one of the first people I've actually met in real life. And we hung out, we have drinks it, it went during glass meetups. And it's weird because you can meet these groups of people just one time. And it's like you've known them your whole life and they become friends. Not just because you met them, but because you have a long-term friendship, even if it's just here or here. And, um, and then you meet other people in the groups and communities and you communicate a lot and you become friends with those people. And, uh, so you got, you got all these friends you're making just because you bought this product. And the great thing is they're long lasting friendships and, and, uh, they're always going to be here. Uh, whether it's a virtual friend, you know, virtual friends can be friends too. And, uh, and, and you do meet those people. I mean, if you're fortunate and I, I have been fortunate to meet a few of them. And, uh, well, one of those people today contacted me and we had a long discussion via text. Um, and they were kind of hurt and it kind of made me feel crappy, you know, it, it's been bugging me all day. Just, uh, I mean, I don't want to get in the middle of anything because, uh, the person that always gets in the middle is the one that always gets eff or effed over. Um, it's like you got two friends and then you're in the middle and then, but only one of my friends right now is talking to me about it. I haven't talked to the other friend about it, and I, I don't think I'm going to. I'll let them deal with it, and I'll just kind of stand over here out of the way. But I, I really don't want to say too much about it. I, I, just, uh, I just hope everybody out there knows that, uh, at least my stance on it, okay, we got, we got these circles and these groups of people, and... Okay, you can have your separate groups, and, and it's great because we're all probably members of all these different groups, and, and then but we're all also a part of a larger community. I mean, it, it, things are going to change now that Glass is kind of released worldwide. I mean, people can buy it now if, if they wanted to, uh, even though it's still in beta and they're just the Explorer edition. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of new people. But that core group that 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 started everything that kind of you know took the leap, you know, not knowing where it's going to go, we're all still going to be here. We're not going anywhere, and 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 even though we have these little groups, we're still part of that one group. And that one group, now you got the new people. They're going to make another group, and and. And, and But we're all part of a larger group, you know, if that makes any sense. Uh, the person that I'm talking about was invited or, or was not invited to one of the groups. And when they went to join the group, they were declined. Which is weird because I, I don't understand why the, that person was declined. Uh, they're one of the first people that got glass, I think. Um, great part of the community helps me out a lot. I mean, that person actually taught me how to give demos properly. Or, and, and I, well, I watch what everybody does and kind of steal their ideas. I, I'm, I'm kind of like Apple. I'm a thief. Uh, sorry, Apple. Um, I'm just saying it, what happened or what came to my knowledge, I wasn't aware of, and I hope that person out there believes me. I didn't know. I am a part of the community that that person's trying to get into or was. 
that got declined. Uh, I wasn't aware of it. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm an idiot. I just, all I do is I post little comments or I take a picture, post it, and try and think of something witty to put down. I try and, and, and uh, do what I can to promote other people's stuff, hoping that I'm at least contributing somewhat. Um, I, I don't know what to say about anything about that. I just, I think I said it in the other video. It, you know, if anybody in any community on any social network, it doesn't matter if it's Twitter, Google+, Facebook, whatever, and, and all the different communities out there, whether it be the art community, the photography community, the car building community, the, the hippie community, the weed protesters, or the weed, whatever, you know, whatever community there are. If any community is going to do something spectacular in the future, or has the people part of it, to be able to create something and do something and 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 it, it's it, I, it wouldn't surprise me if it came from the Google Glass community or the wearable community uh, an app developer or a couple app developers or are some promoter people or are visionaries that come up with these ideas um, to become to create a small company and everybody come together and 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 do something that's going to change the world something you know that you we could cre well not me, we like i said i'm an idiot but you guys could create the next big thing or become the next big company you know that uh i i, I don't even know what i'm saying i i just hope that the community can come together that and to that person that didn't get, that got declined, I'm sorry. Um, don't let it get you down. It's, it's not a big thing. It's a hashtag. Basically, it's a hashtag and that, that you post a picture. When you post a picture, you hashtag something, and that picture goes to that community. It, it's nothing more. Uh, there's a million of them. So don't, don't let it get you down. It, it's words with four lines N nothing more um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off though because I really don't have any questions I wish someone would have sent me some hopefully next week I'll get some questions do a decent video I'm getting parched hold on one second I got I okay hold on a second I got something to tell you this drink as a truck driver, I've tried Red Bull, tried Monster, tried Mountain Dew, tried every drink on the planet, just like everybody has. But I'm going to tell you something. Um, if you guys, if Extreme Shock wants to, uh, this company here, uh, you could ask anybody that knows me. And uh, I was going to hold it here to this camera, but the camera's over here. And this drink here. If you could find it, it's sold at all racetrack gas stations, and it's hidden for some reason. But I've been drinking this for a couple years. I, I uh, it's the only thing that actually works. It, it's healthy, zero sugar. But this stuff, man, I you take like three drinks of it. It says 15 minutes, three drinks, just three sips. And you get this feeling of like pins and needles all over your body. It's really weird. It's like you were out in the sun and you're getting a sunburn. And, and I don't know how it does it, but it does it. And uh, you can actually feel it entering your body. It, it's the strangest drink. but And I'm addicted to that feeling because I live in Florida and I like that sunburn feeling, you know. Uh, you just get out of the ocean and that sun's hitting you and you get that itchy kind of pins and needle feel this gives that same feeling to you and it wakes you up and it, it's a decent energy drink it's non-carbonated tastes like kids kool-aid and it comes in a few good flavors they ought to sponsor me i don't know i, I would promote the hell out of this thing um but i'm going to go ahead and sign off and let everybody go i'm sure this video is boring and everything else too um 
I'm in my Kermit the Frog shirt today too, by the way. But I'll let everybody go. Sorry about rambling on so long. Um, I'll try and do a proper Q&A next week. Um, that's all I got. Really don't have nothing else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on my Patreon and upload a couple videos. I needed to... Uh, I need to post one at least because I, I got I do have a supporter or two that uh, I don't want to neglect. Um, uh, Indian Maiden and and okay I've, I've been checking out her uh, because I I support her also. I don't know if she's like nine or twelve or thirteen years old or if it's an older woman and, and that's you know Indian Maiden if you watch this video get back with me and tell me your age. <clears throat> but she supports me. I'm assuming she's about 12 years old, maybe. And she has a YouTube channel. And uh, I, I, I've shared her link for her Patreon before trying to support her. But um, it's funny because she supports me. I support her. So it kind of evens out there. No one's really getting ahead. Well, she's younger, so I make sure she gets a little bit more ahead. You know, But it, it's kind of cool to have kids supporting you, you know, um, hopefully one of you guys will start supporting me and, and it'll all just, because I, I could, I could sure live off everybody else. It'd be great. <laughs> just kidding. No supports required, but it is appreciated. Um, got a couple new cups up and stuff. So, um, gonna kind of create a few more products. Uh, people that I've been promising to get your stuff out to you uh, as gifts. It's on its way. Start checking your mail. I it, That Zazzle company, sometimes it takes a while because I've been checking. And uh, I know I promised to get some stuff out. To, uh, I don't want to say any names because then I'm bound. You know, hey, you promised me something. I'm, I, so I just wanted to be surprises because I, I, like I said, I'm not wealthy and everything's out of pocket, but I'm just doing it because you guys have been so good to me and I do appreciate everything. Uh, keep going to glassgeek.com. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the background again. I was notified that the bamboo back really isn't attractive. So I think I'm just going to go with a, a flat, normal color. I'll probably do that later this week. Like I said, anybody has any ideas of, or any companies or businesses or anybody creating anything that wants me to promote their stuff for them, it's free. I don't charge. Uh, send me your link and everything, and, and I'll get it up as fast as I can. Uh, any videos anybody has, fire them my way. Uh, I'll post them. and get Because right now I just got the basic Google Glass video from... Uh, the one with the hot air balloons and stuff and, and it's been running on there for months I, I would love to change it so um, just trying to do what I can do uh, this is like I, I posted before I'm not doing a Jerry Lewis telethon type thing so uh, but any support well, why do I keep talking about support heck with the support right now let's, get, let's just uh become a tighter community that's what I want I want our community to become tighter if everybody works together we could all do something well like I said I'm an idiot you guys can <laughs> do something really great and and even though I wasn't much of a factor in that I would benefit from that because I, I'm part of the community what the heck and and for all you got creative people to do something I benefit because if you create an app or you guys get get together and create some new service or something it's something I can use and and I will use it so let, let's get together uh, remember we're all one family uh, the the whole glass family thing it, it means it's starting to mean something to me uh, but I don't single out, you know, it, it, I, I, everybody's part of it. It, it. To me, I mean, anyway, it, it's, it's the whole community. It's not just 
a group of 20 or 30 people. It's the group of however many thousand people, you know, there are. So let's let's all become that. I just hit my elbow and it, and it hurts. Um, let's all become that, you know. And uh, I, I just don't like the bickering. That dramas for real life, you know, for the little stuff you have to deal with every day. There should be no drama in this. It, it should just be a collective, if that makes sense. I'm not good at big words. But I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, I'll upload this. It's probably going to take 10 hours to upload because it's probably five or six gigs. But I'm going to let everybody go, and we'll see you later. By the way, I found something out. I paid for an app, right? Let me go here. It is called Pixocam. I paid for that when I first got the watch. You know, I was looking for a good, kind of like the Pebble, how I can control my camera or my music and stuff like that. So on the Pebble, it's easy because you just press a button, wait three seconds, and the picture takes. This app here, for some reason, it inverts the picture, so you have to go and flip it in editing. Um, and it doesn't control the video. I, I, I would love an app. If, it, if there's any app developers out there, uh, make an Android Wear app that controls the camera on your cell phone or your tablets or some or, or, or whatever your your watch is connected to. That uh, not only do, does the photograph right, not upside down but also could control the video. So like if you're recording a video like this, I can say, I'll eat you later, press a button on my watch, the camera stops, instead of having to stand up, walk around, and touch the back of it. That, that would be helpful. And uh, so, get to work, you guys. We'll double E you guys later. That looks like a gang sign. See you guys later. Camera off.